I was just a kid when I first got to see Muhammad Ali. I saw the way people looked up to him. I saw their smiling faces. And I said to myself, that's what I want to be. I want to be champ of the world. Wait up, Mikey. I'm taking them down this afternoon. And my gray flax. Go to the cleaner. Yes. Why not let me take care of these chores just as I have been for the past 20 years? Has it been that long? Yes. If you two are going to be late, you better hurry. We're hurrying. We're hurrying. Goodbye, Don. Bye, dear. Bye, Mom. Bye, sweet. Oh, she huh? come home early. I'm planning a surprise for tonight. <laughs> Denise's mama? Do it look like it? Michael Gerald Tyson, you have been found guilty of aggravated of assault. Public intoxication. Bakers. Michael Possession of a deadly weapon, grand theft. Two counts of burglary. Aggravated robbery. Guilty as charged. Receipt of stolen goods. You have been found guilty. Resisting arrest. Strong arm robbery. Michael Tyson. Assault with a deadly weapon. You will be incarcerated at the Tryon School for Boys in Johnstown, upstate New York. What's this kid's name? How the hell should I know? I thought you talked to Bobby. All he said was he had a kid we should take a look at. Not Bobby Stewart. Yeah, from the Tryon Detention Facility. Great, that's all we need. Not a juvenile delinquent. So what'd this kid do? It's more a case of what didn't he do. Arrested something like 40 times before he turned 12. 40 times? Gee, even Al Capone wasn't arrested no 40 times. Uh oh, sounds like a baddie. No shit. Don't he got a mother? Of course he's got a mother. Comes a point, even a mother's got to toss in the towel. <sighs> Bobby don't expect me to take this kid into my home, does he? Look, Bobby don't expect nothing. All he said was take a look at him. You know all right, cuz? Yeah, fine. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Come on, Kevin. Him. 
Five nine hundred and eighty pounds. That's him. Strong. Yeah, I was expecting some scrawny little punk. Jesus, what have you been feeding them kids, Bobby? The usual steroids and cocoa puffs. <laughs> Style, but Jesus, he can hit. Fucking A, he can hit. A goddamn kid hitting like Joe Frazier. Faster than shit. Take it easy, say. What's your name, son? Mike. Mike what? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Well, go ahead, do what you're doing. So what do you think? What do I think? I think he hits with bad intentions. That's what I think. There you go. This is our side over here. Back to what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about being scared of going into a fight. It's when you ain't scared, that's the time to worry. Fear is the friend of every good and reasonable athlete. Hey, slow up. Yeah, you see that house over there? That's your new home, Mike. Put the right here. The right! a fighter. Come on. Mike, this is Camille Ewald. Say, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, man. Hmm. Now, don't get sore. I know it's another mouth to feed, but we could use that extra 200 bucks a month around here. Come on, I'll show you to your room. Is Camille your wife? Not exactly. Uh, it's her house. I don't think she wants me here. What? That? Ah, she's just a little shy, that's all. You look at this. I tell you, if I catch the bum who did this, he's gonna be a couple of teeth short of a smile, believe me. See, I got a half a dozen fighters staying here. It's important that everybody be neat. Uh, this will be uh, your room here. You gotta get you an alarm clock. Who ate my ice cream? Don't you ever let me catch you eating my ice cream, not never. difference between a hero and a coward. There ain't no difference. Inside, they're both exactly alike. Both scared of dying or getting hurt. But it's what the hero does that makes him a hero. It's what the other guy doesn't do that makes him a coward. Two men step into a ring, one and only one deserves to win. When you step in the ring, you gotta know 
You deserve to win. You gotta know destiny owes you victory because you trained harder than your opponent. You sparred harder. You ran farther. So you got up earlier. I know you ain't sleeping. I know you can hear me. Always keep your chin tucked down into your chest. I don't care if you're running road work or just walking around school or watching TV, keep that chin tucked down and your eyes looking up and out. One word describes Rocky Marciano, tenacity. Only 187 pounds, but to this day, he remains the only undefeated heavyweight champion. How? Because he wouldn't imagine that he could lose. He would never even allow the concept of defeat to enter his mind. Don't watch gloves. Watch the chest. You wait for a glove to move, you're dead. When the chest flexes, you bob. Joe Lewis may have been quiet on the outside, but on the inside, he was pure rage. He was a Negro in a white man's world, and he hated it. Up and down the street, 24 hours a day. It ain't never again where he last seen it. See, you give him a target here, and by the time he swings, it ain't there anymore. And when you move, counter. <laughs> Five to the ribs, huh? Hop, hop. Four, one, upstairs. Got it? Yeah. All right, here we go. If you don't get hit, you don't lose. It's as simple as that. Once you learn to stay low and touch behind your gloves, and in constant motion, no one's gonna be able to land nothing. Lies and deceit. Subterfuge, that's what we deal in. Don't ever let anyone know your real intentions. Champion fighters, champion liars. Best in the world. The camera moves and calls them kind of fast. Back off of him, just keep boxing. Who ate my ice cream? Mike's mom passed away. Oh, jeez. Listen, he's got to take a bus down to Brooklyn. Drive him into town, will you? Sure. What you gonna do, Mike? You gonna move back home here? No, man, I got a home. A pigeon coop. I heard about your mom. Hey, Mike. 
Glad to have you back home. Jamie. Okay, Uncle Teddy. I gotta go. Pigeons, huh? My old man used to call them flying rats. So how was the funeral? Mike, you know what a professional is? Somebody gets paid to... Got nothing to do with money. A professional is a guy who performs, no matter what he's feeling inside, you understand me? No matter what. What is it? It's yours. Muhammad Ali gave it to me, and I'm giving it to you. Take it with you to the Junior Olympics. What are you scared of? I'm letting Cus down. You ain't gonna let no one down. You fought tougher guys than this. Look at your opponent there. Look at him. You don't think he ain't scared? Of course he is. Come on, what does Cus say? You remember what he said about your fear? What did he say? To, to use it. Use it how? To turn my fear into fire. That's right. So what are you going to do when you get in that ring? I'm going to open up with some sevens. Seven. There you go. Chin down, eyes up. Then what are you going to do? Two. Seven, two. And what's the next punch? Five. Seven, two, five. Seven, two, five. Put one knee inside. And what are you going to do when you get inside? I'm going to open up like a son of a bitch. All right. Let's go win a fight. They say it's a new junior Olympic record. It's all anyone's talking about. Well, where is he now? He's still in the ring. They just announced it. Anybody talking to him? Sure. The ring's full of people. Teddy, you want him back here right now. Back here on the next plane. But don't argue with me, Teddy. Just do it. Goddamn sharks. Yes. Well, uh, uh, Mike, you know, he, uh... What about Mike? Well, now that his mother's gone and all that, I, uh... I thought maybe... About adopting him? <laughs> Sounds crazy, I know, but, uh... What do you think? Hey, cousin, I did it, <laughs> just like you said. Yeah, but eight seconds, what took you so long? I'm proud of you, Mike, really proud of you. 
Come on, Mike, let's get this crap inside. I've been doing some thinking while you were away. Uh, well, me and Camille both, actually. About what? What would you say if uh, we were to become your guardians? What, you, you mean like adopt me? Yeah, something like that. Well, yeah, sure. Let's find some. Michael, congratulations! I did it! If you blink, you will miss it. Wait, you're nuts. was Cass serious about. Cass is always serious. Well, then, was he serious about. You want it too? Uh-huh. Well then like um then like, well then could I call you mom? I would like that very much. So what do you want from me? You need sparring partners. What about your other fighters? I mean, real sparring partners. He's beating the hell out of all my guys. It's a risk, us. I mean, taking a new fighter today is a cheap. To me, everything's a risk. But we're talking about the next great heavyweight champion of the world here. Are you serious? You mark my words. When the history of boxing is written, Mike Tyson's name will be mentioned right along with Dempsey and Marciano and Joe Lewis. That's a pretty prestigious club, Gus. So, when do we get to meet Michael, what are you doing here? Mike? Yeah, come here, come here for a minute, huh? See this guy here? This is the fairest guy I know in this whole crooked business, Jimmy Jacobs. Mike Tyson, my son for, uh, what is it, two weeks? <laughs> Mike Tyson, Jimmy Jacobs. Hiya, Mike. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Jacobs. Please, Jimmy. Yeah. Always Jimmy. <laughs> As my partner, Bill Caton. Mike, I watched your junior Olympic fight. <laughs> oh, that was great work. Thank you, Mr. Caton. My pleasure, Mike. <laughs> Uh, Bill and Jimmy manage fighters, Mike. And they wouldn't be here unless I trusted them. Yeah. These are the kind of friends you want to be surrounded by. <laughs> the kind that can keep you out of trouble, believe me. And if you want to be champion, you got to show a lot of discipline. The next great heavyweight champion. <laughs> Who the fuck you been talking to, man? Is that what that white man been telling you? You know you're blowing smoke up your ass, right? You know that, don't you? <laughs> Man, there's probably 10,000 of you little ghetto nigglets out there dreaming the same fucked up dream. And every one of you probably got some drooly cracker motherfucker riding his ass thinking he Anglo fucking Dundee. And it's Angelo Dundee. And Angelo Anglo whatever breaks my heart. Let's go home. This shit's depressing. Stop the car. What? Yo, girlies, what's up? Yo, 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 man, come on, stop the car. They're down. Yo, fat girls, where you going? Yo, what's up? Yo, baby, hold up. Come on, man, come on. Yo, baby, can I come? Come on, man. How many times you gotta strike out before you call it a night? Yo, wait up. Hey, yo, yo. Running away. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. I like the one on the right, man. Damn, you're probably scaring us. Fine. Yo, yo. Damn, what they doing? Oh, come on now. They must have went in here. Come I know they're Mike. Here, they're not in here. Let's go. They're hiding in here. What are you here. looking for? Come on, they're gone. What do you want? What Damn, man. You can't go back yo, in there. Yo, girl. What's up? You go. Where y'all at? Hey, hey Joe, what are you not... doing back here, huh? Get out. Yo, come on. This shit ain't cool, man. Come on. Hey, you get out. Get off me. Call the police. Call the police. Get out of here. Come on, nigga. Hello. Get oh, police. Oh, fucking pussy. Your people are all the same. I call the police. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Call the fucking police. Oh, Fuck you, motherfucker. What the fuck is wrong with you?
you, man? Shit. Come on, let's go. He ain't nowhere. It wouldn't be so bad if this was the first time. But it's like a regular pattern now. Screws up, disappears. Screws up, disappears. How long's it been gone this time? Three, four days now? Do we even know where he is? Mole hills, Teddy. Mole hills, huh? Last week, he threatened the teacher at school. Last month, he's boning some underage classmate. You just have to take him out of school. Take him out of school? Obviously, it's a bad influence on him. Cuz he's in the 10th grade. He needs to go what to school. What he needs is an environment conducive to his becoming a champion fighter. And what if fighting don't work out? What if he actually has to find a job someday? Are we done with this conversation? He needs discipline, Cuss. I think we ought to suspend his gym privileges. I only train two world champions. You gonna tell me what to do? Any other fighter, you'd have thrown him out so long ago. I am not gonna suspend my best fighter. That's stupid. Kenny, you got visitors. I'm busy. No, I'll tell you what's stupid. It's stupid letting this punk run wild just because you're too goddamn scared he'll walk if you don't. Don't tell me how to run my gym. Our gym. Remember, Cuss? Six years now. Our gym. Kenny! What? Your sister is here. allow yourself to be distracted, you allow yourself to fail. Everybody get back to your work. Jamie? That's right, Jamie. Man, I didn't do a fucking thing. Fuck Jamie. you. I know exactly what you did. No, man, she came after me anyway. Came after you? She's a fucking kid. Motherfucker, if you ever disrespect anyone in my family again, I will kill you. Understand this. I swear to fucking God, I will kill you. You know, if you want me to be scared, you know, I'll do my damnedest. Do you doubt me? Just say it. He was just trying to scare her. <laughs> Still, it's a hell of a way to make a point, isn't it? He claims Mike was trying to get fresh with his kid sister-in-law. I guess I'll just have to find a new trainer, huh? Let go! Five by six! <laughs> I'm about to get into the ring totally fearless, but fear is a good friend of every good and reasonable athlete. How does it feel to be fighting for a professional purse? It feels great.
Okay, visiting hours are over. Come back tomorrow. That's fine. He has been waiting for you. Cuss, man. Come on, man. Don't, please don't die. Please don't die, cuss. I supposed to die. You wouldn't even let me sleep. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, you gotta get better. You gotta get better. I, I, I'll mess it up without you, man. I can't go on without you always getting on me. You gotta go on, Mike. If you don't, if you screw it up, I'm gonna come back from the dead. Whip your ass. Seven seven two. Look, look, look how good he still looks, man. Yeah. You know he's hundred and seventy four pounds. Lewis outweighed him by twenty five and three quarter pounds. You know he's fighting on the inside, just like Frazier with Ali. Yeah, but he won't keep it up. He's gonna lose his speed. Are you listening to me? I miss him, Jimmy. I really fucking miss it. Hey. It's guys who can't cry that I worry about. I'm so weak. Jimmy, man, I feel so weak. Weak? You're Iron Mike. You're Big Mike. Man, I don't feel like it. Not with Cust going. You can never figure out what he saw in me. He loved you. Why? Heart. And you got fists like bowling balls. Like wrecking balls. Like wrecking ball. <laughs> you got me, Mike.
I'm not going anywhere. So with the heavyweight championship already at stake early in Mike Tyson's career, the spark so faithfully nurtured by Customato becomes a roaring blaze. Tyson bearing in with those murderous left hooks. Down goes Burbick. Burbick's struggling to get up. He's going to make an attempt. And back onto the canvas. Mike Tyson is about to become the youngest heavyweight champion ever. That's it, son. That's it. It's all over. It's all over. And that'll do it. So a new era in boxing begins. At 20 years old, Mike Tyson has fulfilled his destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, the time. Two minutes, 35 seconds of the second round. Referee Mills Lane stops the bout. The winner by a TKO and new WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. I would like to dedicate my fight to my great guardian, Customato. I know he's up there and he's looking and he's talking to all the great fighters and he's saying his boy did it. What was the most important lesson Customato did? Cuss always depending everything on character and, and determination. Yo, Mike. Yo, is that shit good, man? Yo, Mike, is that shit good? Who are you going to fight next, champ? I'm champion of the world. I fight any man alive. I beat anybody in the world. I take on all comers. Marvel with with the good fighters is how quick their hands are. Okay, watch here. Watch here, right? Tucker. Left hook to the ribs, right? Check it out. Bam, 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 look at that shit. Right bombs to the head every fucking time. What the fuck, Mike, turn it back. Hey, turn it back. Jesus. Okay, see that, see that? Each time he jabs, he drops his right hand back, leaves you what? What the fuck, Mike, will you turn it back? Mike, you know you're gonna be fighting this guy. Where's my dinner? You just had lunch. So when I'm hungry, give that fucking thing. Stay away from the big left. Mike, cut it out, man. What the, give me the fucking room. He pours in a little bit, then backs out. Blood <clears throat> around the facial area. That'll be wiped up. Fucking around. dickhead! What the fuck's gotten into you lately? So the corner of Tony Tucker. Why are you wearing... What do you want, a little spaghetti? Steak? I want some hominy grits. I want some black eyed peas. Whoa. Bring me some chitlins oh, out this motherfucker. Man. What kind of food Why, is Why, thank that? you, Yvonne. You know I don't know how to cook that kind of stuff. Rest. Attention, peasants, the Empress has no dress on. That's a dress. I need a microphone. Anybody home? Hey, Jimmy. Hey. Bill. Pardon me. Matt, how's it going? All right. Kevin. All right, all right. Kevin, what's with Kevin? I'm, like, I'm pushing a fucking rock up a fucking mountain. That's what's with fucking Kevin. Hey, Mike. Oh, Jimmy, man. Hey, it's good to see you, man. Hey, how are you doing, huh? All right, hey, man. Oh, oh, man, don't hurt me, man. I hurt you, man. Uh, you been good? You know it. Man. Yeah, you staying out of trouble. So you got the clap, huh? Ah, it's no big thing. Which, the disease or what you caught her with? <laughs> You're right. No, seriously, Mike. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on out there that could kill you. And you're taking way too many chances. Man, that was that was his fate, Jimmy. I'm over that shit. <laughs> Cause you, orgy smorgies, right? No, man, I'm serious. I mean, I just want to fall in love. You know what I mean? You know, have a relationship like you got with Lorraine. Some kids. Kids? What do you mean, kids? Yeah, sure, man. Get out. Oh, yo, Jimmy, man. I saw the most beautiful girl today. I mean, she was smart, elegant. Been thinking about it, man. She got my heart. I think her name was Robin. She from around here? No, I saw her on television. Television? <laughs> what, man? Come on. Hmm. 
Nobody's uh, Robin Gibbons there. Good evening. May, may I speak to Robin? Hello. Hello, Robin. This is Mike. Mike Tyson. Hello, take two. Say, you say what? Hello, as in to whom am I speaking? Um, is, is this Robin? That's my name. Don't wear it out. To whom am I speaking? Um, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson? The fighter guy? Yeah, that's right. Well, this is a surprise. A, a good one, I hope. So far, so good. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call, Mr. Mike Tyson? Well, you know, I was kind of um, admiring your work for a long time now, and, you know, I was kind of thinking that, uh, you know, maybe, we, you know, sometime we can get together, you know, and... Uh, By that, I take it you're hoping we could meet? Yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. I was thinking maybe I could come out west and visit you. <laughs> see if it's okay with you. Ringside seats for Mike's new fling? Mike said this was serious. Really? He's deeply in love. Getting the job done. All right, come on. Come on, come, come on. One step back. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Mike. Okay, what's the four? What's the four? Sticking your chin out like a goddamn pinata? Don't go for the one shot. Work the body first, then go to the head. Hey, what's gonna happen if you lose out there tonight? Do you? That little girlfriend of yours is gonna go home with Fuckhead over there. She's gonna do all kinds of nasty things to him all night long. And do you know why? Because she's here for Fuck you. Because she's here for the champ. She ain't here for Iron Mikey. She's here for the champ. And she don't care what the fuck his name is so long as people call him champ.
heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Don King, tell us the significance of Mike Tyson unifying oh, the heavyweight championship tonight. That's good. Please what put it we have for me. Witness here tonight. I know it would look good. The of the unification tournament Where? of heavyweight boxing. A combination wherein one Michael Gerald Tyson out of Brooklyn, New York, has emerged resplendent in a crown befitting of a king. And the undisputed heavyweight champion. You are my queen. Queen of our day. Mm -hmm. All we learn to slide right past him. You kidding me? She lived for this shit. Oh, I gotta call Camille. Come on, come on, come on. Hello? Hello? Michael, where have you been? What do you mean where I've been? I've been getting married. Married? Oh, Michael. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we kind of had to keep it a secret. You know, we had to do it fast. See, Robin's pregnant, Ma. And she says she's about three months already. Michael! Come on, Ma. You're supposed to be happy for me. I am, Michael. I really am. It, it's just that... It's just that what? Mike. Mike, it's Bill. Hey, hey I... Bill, guess what? <laughs> yeah, I overheard. Congratulations. It's great. Uh, listen, I, I got some bad news. Jimmy passed away. His, his leukemia finally caught up with him. I'm sorry, Mike. What? What's the matter? Jimmy passed away. Oh, Jesus. Listen, the funeral's in California, and uh, we'll be flying out front. She storms into my office and shouts, I'm Mrs. Mike Tyson, and I am taking over my husband's affairs. Not gee, Bill. I'm sorry that your friend and partner of 20 years has passed away. No, instead, she storms in and screams, I demand to see Mike's contract. Hey. On the family day that Jimmy died. Not fucking time. Bill, here. Is this Mike Tyson's limo? Sorry, folks. Are you with Mr. King's party? Mr. King? What, a shark circling already? Beautiful. Only in America. See the look on Keaton's face? Tastefully frame, I can hang that over my mantle. <laughs> Not Jesus. Who invited him? Mike. Mike, my deepest sympathies. 
Bill? No. Oh, Lorraine. No, Jim and I were rarely on the same side of the bargaining table. I, I respected him. And I always treasured his friendship. I, I'm, I'm going to miss him very much. Hello, Mr. King. They should have had him in weight. I mean, these people don't know how to handle a champion. Well, when I managed Ali, he never had to wait at an airport. Never. Hey, brother. Now, we got lots of room. Now, why don't you come on ride with us? Come on. Flight 30 percent. 13. Well, that's fair. No, not 13. 30. 30, I see. Hmm. And Caton is setting up his Sphinx fight for you next, right? Hmm. What would you say, Mike? If I was to offer you, say, five fights, five easy fights, for five million dollars each. If you were to come fight for me instead of Satan. I mean, Caden. Well, I'll tell you what, I think about it. <laughs> you do that, Mike. Take all the time you need. Abraham Yitzchak for Yaakov, Sarah Rivka Rockel Valea, for him short Sadikim to see Konios, Shabagan Eden, for Namar. Amen. So what did King want? What does he always want? He offered me five easy matches at five million each if I didn't go through the Sphinx fight. <clears throat> what did you tell him? I asked him, why should I fight five easy matches when I can make just as much with one easy match? Did that shut him up? Shit, Dawn King? Karutushi. Yamlich Mal Husei. The Kaye Khon, the Omechon, the Kaye, the whole base Israel, the Agola, Ubizman Korib, Vimaru, Amen. Yehesh me Rabba, Mavorak, Yola, Mulolme, Omaya. It's for us, the Ishtabat, the Yitbar, the Yitroman, the Yitnaf, the Yitadar, the Yitanet, the Yitamal, the Maiden with the Shah, the Riyaku. Ela, 
You okay, Mike? You know who's buried down there in that grave? Jimmy, Cuss, my mother. Everybody I could ever trust is down there in that hole. Man, things were so different before the money. Now I can't trust nobody. You don't trust Bill? I don't know, I hear things. Robin? See, I love Robin with all my heart, man, but... Love and trust is different things. You know what I mean? From the sexy realm of television sitcoms to a lifestyle of undreamed fantasy, Robin Gibbons became the new queen of heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson. Here we see the young royal couple in their new $4.6 million palace, purchased by Mike here in Bernardsville, New Jersey. I was told that Bill Caton offered a friend of ours $50,000 to sabotage our marriage. I mean, people in the fight business are bigger crooks in the hoods I grew up with. King is feeding Robin lies, and unfortunately, she's believing them. Now, I support Ruth Roper when she says her daughter fears for her life because she asked the unpardonable question, where is the money? If there's $50 million in Mike's account and there's supposed to be $70 million, there's a problem. Just as I also support Robin Gibbons, who is clearly the best thing that has ever happened to Mike Tyson. I can't start fucking piece of shit! There are three years left on Mike's contract. If King and Gibbons and Roper try to break it, I'll take it all the way to the Supreme Court. Bill Gates is an egotistical maniac who thinks he controls the universe. No, he can't control Mike Tyson because I'm the boss. Bill King's my manager, Don King's my promoter, and that's as far as it goes. It's a question of being champion. If it ever gets to be too much, you know, I can end it all just like that. All I got to do is just get knocked out. You know, all in. Hagen's contract with Tyson is a slave contract, outright ownership. They're willing a nigga slave right here in 1988, just like they done in 1849. I'm not anti-white, I'm just pro-black. King is winning Tyson on the theory that black should stick together. Black manager, black trainer, black promoter, black, black, black. And the best fighter in the world. Nobody can beat him. Mike Tyson is our knight in shining armor. Each blow he strikes, he strikes it for all those who are discriminated against. The downtrodden, the underprivileged, the denied, the segregated. People want to be my friends so they can steal my money. You know, everybody get their hand out. How did a woman who went to Sarah Lawrence and reportedly to Harvard Medical School wind up falling in love with a guy from the School of Hard Knocks? God, I want to know, too. Uh, there's something uh, we have a lot in common, uh, tradition, traditional families, and we just sort of love each other. Traditional families? Honest in love? <laughs> what is this shit? You sound skeptical, Don. Skeptical, Carl. I am skeptical up the receptacle. <laughs> I know for a fact she never went to medical school, Harvard, or any other, just as I also know for a fact she was never one of the Ford agency's top models, as she so often likes to play. So, I heard she was five and a half months pregnant. Five and a half months pregnant? Rumor has it she was three months pregnant when Ruth made him get married. Oh, Carl, this is a woman with larceny in her heart. <laughs> Why, this is absurd. It's atrocious. It's a flagrant effrontery to any vestiges of respect left in our besmirched profession. What I'm hearing here is Michael Spinks versus Mike Tyson, a promotion reasonably expected to gross over $70 million, and you are offering me, the promoter, a mere $3 million? No, no, I'm sorry. Not only is this pittance you call your final offer entirely unacceptable, it's outright immoral! It is also my final offer, Don. Take it or leave it. Bill, now everybody in this room knows that it is customary for the promoter to get 30%. Not this three-point-something bullshit that Who you... Who is the promoter? 
The cable and phone rights have already been set up, the purse is negotiated, and the site fees paid. The promoter, as we know it, is obsolete. The truth is, we don't even need you. The truth is, you're a smart businessman. And smart businessmen don't go around throwing away three million dollars without good reason. Maybe I feel sorry for you. And maybe you're afraid your champ will see the light and come work for me. Three million. Take it or leave it. Tyson versus Spinks, biggest purse in the history of boxing, two weeks away, right? The other night, I saw Don King shaking hands with Donald Trump. I mean, can you imagine King and Trump shaking on a deal? It's going to take a dozen accountants to figure out who's the screwer and who's the screwee. That's Jackie Gale. Hey, Kevin, ain't it kind of unusual for a champ to blow off training camp? No, not at all. Happens all the time. Well, somebody ought to tell Spinks. He's training his ass off. <laughs> Heavy queens? Go fish. Yeah, right. I know you got one, you fucking lying son of a fish. God's gonna punish you for this. Okay, you got any tooth? Hey, hey, look at here. Kevin. Here come your boy. Hey, Mike, got anything to say about Spinks' comment yesterday? 21 million. You, oh, you, you don't want to let Spinks have it, do you, Mike? Well, well, well. Look what the cat puked up. I hope you're here to work. Because if you ain't, don't be wasting that fucking time. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mike. Throw some punches. Bless him up, take him to school. Dress him now. Get back in there, that ain't enough. It's enough when I say it's enough. Epps, get the fuck back in there, come on. Man, well, look, we'll make it up tomorrow. Well, fucking shit tomorrow. You ain't stepping out of that fucking ring till you knock some of those pounds of Cheetos off your flabby ass. Come on, let's go. Mike, come on, what the fuck? <coughs> Yo, uh, Kev, come on. I don't think now's a good time to be riding Mike like this. Oh, yeah, and why's that, counselor? Look, this ain't got shit to do with me and you, all right? Robin had a miscarriage. A miscarriage? Ah. Oh. Yeah. You know Mike better than anybody else. He's a sensitive cat, and I just think it'd behoove all concerned if you take it easy on him for a while. I see. Well, gosh, thank you, Rory. That's my boy. Yeah. Mike, get the fuck back in the ring. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Why don't you take a fucking hike, you fucking leech? Don't kiss my ass. Mike is up there tripping. Right. You, of all people, should be sensitive oh, to Oh, yeah, that. why don't you tell me something about sensitivity, Mr. 250000 a year friend? Motherfucker, I earn my money. And I am his friend, and I do feel sorry for him. And your little punk ass should, too. Oh, yeah, I feel sorry, all right. Sorry to be the only one with the balls enough to tell him that Robin was about as pregnant as I am. Fuck you, man. Yeah, fuck me. Fuck me for telling him what everybody in the country already knows. He's getting fucked up the ass by his little claptrap and mommy fucking dearest. Tell. No, you won't be needing that, man. You heard Whitey. When Whitey say jump, 
nigga say, how high? When what he say, fight? Nigga say, how long? When what he say to the death nigga? Nigga say, oh yes sir, massa. Come on, motherfucker. Come on, do your job, man. Hit me. Oh, I'm touched. Come on, motherfucker. You can't hit. Spit it. Man, you ain't shit. Well, hit me like you got some balls, motherfucker. Come on, hit me. Ooh, you almost knocked me out. You got one more chance, motherfucker. One more. Oh, come on, Mike. This is fucked up. Rooney, what the fuck's happening, man? You. Come on, get in here, motherfucker. Bitch ass motherfucker. Come on. Now you got 10 seconds to knock me the fuck out. Come on. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Come on, motherfucker. Eight. You better kill me, motherfucker. Because I have every intention on killing you. Nine. homeboy. Look at that. $1,500 a week pussy. Yeah, keep the change, Mr. Tyson. Mr. Winston has the papers. Ladies, Mr. Winston, go get it all now. Of course. <laughs> this is for you. Thank you. Tyson will simply overpower Spinks, 
might find another person who believes that Spinks will be too much the technician for Tyson. Listen, now Michael Spinks Mike. coming into the ring yeah. first. Thirteen and a half million dollars guaranteed to Spinks. One oh, yeah. Olympic gold medal and has never lost a professional prize fight. Tyson, for his part, will earn even more money tonight. And he too is unbeaten as a professional. Pennsylvania, weighing in at 212 and one quarter pounds, with a professional record of 31 wins, no defeats, 21 KOs. He was an Olympic gold medalist and is regarded by many boxing fans as well as Ring Magazine as the heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Michael Spinks. And in the red corner, he is a protege of the late, great Customato. He fights out of Catskill, New York. He weighed in at 218 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 34 wins, no defeats, with 30 KOs. He is the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Okay, gentlemen, you received your instructions in the dress room. Any questions? Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. This one's for Cuss and Jimmy. Do you hear me? Now take it.
Okay, Michael? Then let's go. Trust me, Michael is finally in charge of his business more than ever yeah. before. And they're still robbing and blind. Why, do you realize Mike's paying all of Camille's bills still? Food, utilities, everything. Hey, hey, lay a tarp down before you drag that across my carpet. Shh, taping. I think she liked me more than I liked her when it first started. Really? That's not true. Uh, I think so. I think so, because, you know, she said I didn't like him because he was a fighter, but I really believe she liked me more. What did you want from Robin? When it first started, I... <laughs> Don't you know, say it on television. Fair enough. What's it been like since, this roller coaster life? <laughs> it's been torture, Barbara. <laughs> it's been pure hell. It's been worse than anything I could possibly imagine. Every day, it's some kind of battle, some kind of fight. With whom? With managers, with family members, with just always trying to hold up your dignity. It's something I never thought I'd have to endure. Michael is a manic depressive. I mean, that's just a fact. And living with him has been worse than anything I could possibly imagine. Do they drug that nigga? Man, look at him. I mean, I, I think for the first time, I understand abused women. What do you think, Pop? You think they slipped Mikey and Mickey? Why do you love him? Because there's a side of Michael most people don't know. A side even I wasn't aware of initially. An incredibly gentle side. Also because Michael loves me more than anything in the world. And I feel like he needs me, which Maybe I need. Do you want him to continue boxing? I want to live with Mike Tyson for the rest of my life and have little Tysons. That's what I want. But that can't happen if Michael doesn't get help. And if he doesn't, will you stay? No. Bingo. Damn, brother be set up like a bowling pin. Brothers, the Lord works in mysterious ways his wonders to perform. <laughs> you see that 2020 thing about them the other night? Mr. Suffice it to say, this call don't surprise me one bit. Ma'am, there was a call. Finally get here. Where am 
the hell have you been? We could have been killed. Oh. Sir? There was a call about a domestic dispute. Ain't no fucking dispute. Everybody knows they're fucking bitches. Fuck you! It looks like you got a little carried away in the process. Man, this motherfucking house! What the fuck do I want? What the fuck is your dude? What is he doing? Get the fuck away from me! Sir, you can't threaten your wife. Yo, I didn't do shit. I didn't put a hand on her. Oh, fucking God, man. What? Sir, get the fuck you out of here. You yourself cop. Shit, nobody what? broke no motherfucking laws. Get the doing? fuck off my property. Mr. Tyson, we can't leave with oh, this. Man, fuck you off. Call her the C word, cause the C word is the only thing known to man to make a woman that mad. Robin hereby seeks a divorce. You know why she's filing in California, don't you? Uh huh. When you're around him, you live in constant fear. He's a time bomb. Here we have a man who threatens to kill his wife. Not even an ordinary man, one who is arguably the most vicious man on the planet. Oh, hell yes. Man, the Japs love Mike Tyson. <laughs> when? Drinking. Uh, February, Mike? How's February? Yeah, February is fine. Who, but what the hell difference does it make? Who? Tell him he's, he's gonna fight Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Those Japs could buy tickets or anything. One time, yeah, Michael had different. hit me in the head yeah, with a closed face. fist. <laughs> He knows how to hit and where to but hit who we gonna put on the without clothes? causing any real damage. Buster Douglas? Yeah, I, I know what I said about Buster Douglas. I just don't think people going to pay good money to see Mike Slaughter Buster Douglas. What's old Buster doing these days, anyway? No, Mike. Buster is a carpet delivery boy. <laughs> what Kevin Rooney? Oh, man, Kevin Rooney is gone. <laughs> why? Two million dollars a fight is why. At the peak of his manic state, Me, hell no. Michael I mean, went down to the, the bar <laughs> and started drinking Mike vodka, glass by glass, around. like it was water. That's all. He then returned yeah. to our room. I'll get back to you. All right. Took a handful of lithium and locked himself in the bathroom, saying he was going to kill himself. Mike, for future reference, never, under any circumstances, call a colored woman the C word. Supposed to be abusing him. Hey, Mike, what you doing up here in Hallam? You know, I came down here to see how the black people live, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm black myself, and a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> Mike, baby, can I get your autograph? Yeah, baby. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Damn, baby, did your man let you out? Damn, you come with me tonight. There's that lispy motherfucker. Oh, what's this? Bitch green. This motherfucker. Oh, oh, you ain't getting tired of being pussy with motherfucker? Yeah. Your old lady, your old lady's old lady? Double pussy whip. There you go. Now y'all so pitiful, poor ass motherfucker. What you want me to whip that ass again? Fuck that. You didn't beat me, motherfucker. Anybody ah. seen the TV knows that. They know I knocked the Jerry Curl juice out your head, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I give you that motherfucker. Tell me where Robin's at, huh? I'll tell you where she's at. She's at my house, butt naked, making grits. How you like it? Bent over backwards. Come on. I wouldn't take that shit, money. Mike, what you gonna do? Fuck you up, Chaz. So who's the biggest pussy, Mike? You or Robin? What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
baby date of Mike Tyson. さが三センチもあるクッションで保護されている。私たちは今東京でジェームスバスターダグラスと一緒にいます。今日の試合予想率は四十二対一と圧倒的にマイクタイソン有利となっております。バスター。Forty-two to one. Is there anything you know that the odds makers don't? Yeah, well, they can't measure desire, you know. Mike's a great fighter. I just hope to hold my own. One punch bombs. It ain't gonna work, Mike. Come on, fuck him up, Mike. Ray, Ray, clean. Come on, punch your way out. Punch your way out. Ray. He's been hit more punches in this fight alone than I think I've seen in all of his other fights combined. It's been all Douglas up to this point. And who would have thought that must have been? My man beat. You was down way more than ten. Ten shit, it was more like twenty. Give me an inch, Bob. Yo, you got any other stuff in there? I I don't know. Where the fuck's the end swell? We don't have an end swell. Give me an ice pack. Now give me an ice pack, Jay. Wait just a second. Yeah. Damn it, Jay, get the stool. Come on. Give me the damn stool. Ice. Get some fucking ice. We don't have none. We'll find some. There's fucking eyes closing up. Boy, put some Vaseline right on this one. Abilene. Abilene, what's up? I'm here to do Vaseline. Oh, shit. We got to get that in there.
Young. Will Mike Tyson ever get up from this knockout? Buster Douglas is on the canvas for 16 seconds. He was out. No, you listen to me. I got the tape, and I'm taking it to the WBA, the WBC, and the IBF. All of them. And they're going to see that there was a knockout in the eighth round. No, no, Mike Tyson's not losing his belts because some referee forgot how to count. That's not right. You know it's not right. Don't you even know how to cut tape? Get that shit off of him. I'm going to take care of this for you, Mike. And you know, I always do what I say. I know you do, yeah. You're gonna get it all back. Either they reversed her decision, or... And you have it out there tonight. Fuck that! You won the fight, Mike. On my back? The fight was over! I lost. God damn you, Mike! I don't want to hear that kind of talk, that goddamn defeatist attitude. You did not lose. I'm going to prove it. And you are not going to fuck me up. You understand me? OK, Dawn, I see your point. I did not lose. I gotta go feed the seals. Hey, fellas. Oh, you're getting me mad at me. Yeah. Yeah. You want anything else? I wanna go home. Thank you. 
brother's so funny. Who ate my ice cream? Don't you never eat my ice cream. I would like to focus on the 37 hours you were here in Indianapolis, beginning with your arrival on July 17, 1991, in order to participate in the Miss Black America pageant. How, how does it feel not to be champ? Tell me and we both know. <laughs> what about the rumors that you and Robin Gibbons are seeing each other? My what? No, the rumors that you Kiss and Robin... What? Mr. Tyson, once you arrived at the Omni Hotel, what did you do? All right, man, good to see you. Charlie Neal. Charlie Neal, Charlie Neal, Johnny Gill. Yeah, man, I like your music, man. Uh, good to meet you. Yo, man, so uh, when are we gonna see these uh, beauties? <laughs> well, right after you do that promo for me, Mike. I don't know, man. I think it's gonna be the other way. Miss Washington, describe the contestants' reaction when Mike came into the room. We were all very excited. Am I to understand that at some point, Mr. Tyson was asked to participate in the rehearsal? Yes. Am I to understand that at some point during the rehearsal, he hugged you and asked you if you would like to go out that evening? Yes. And you had never met him before? No. We were getting ready to go to sleep when the phone rang. Hello? Hey, Desiree there? Yes, yeah, she is. May I ask who's calling? Tell us Mike. Oh, uh, hold on. Some guy named Mike. Hello? Hey, it's me, Mike. Mike Tyson? Yeah. Mike Tyson? It's Mike Tyson. <gasps> He's on the phone. Hi. <laughs> OK. Listen, what did you say? Down? Wait, hold on. Shh. Wrong up there? No, I'm fine. What's up? I was wondering if you want to come down and uh, go with me to a party. Tonight? Isn't it kind of late for a party? Well, there's still a lot of celebrities there. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, what about tomorrow? Can we go out then? You no, know, I wish I could, but you know I gotta leave tomorrow. Why don't you come on down? It'll be fun. Good evening. Nice dress. Thanks. Mr. Tyson, after Miss Washington got in the car, what did you do? I kissed her. And how did she react? She kissed me. To the hotel. Is the party there? Nah, I just gotta go there and pick up my bodyguard. Uh, Mike Tyson needs a bodyguard? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Where you from again? I'm from Rhode Island. Yeah, no, I thought we were just going upstairs to pick up his bodyguard before going out on the town to all these after parties with other celebrities. When you got out of the elevator, where did you and Mike go? We walked the hall to his room. Do you have any pets? Well, I got pigeons. Yeah? How many do you have? I don't know, something like 200. 200? Really? That's really neat. I've got a puppy. Mm hmm We'll just be here a second. Come on in.
What's the difference between the hero and the coward? There ain't no difference. They both feel exactly the same on the inside. They both fear dying and getting hurt. It's what the hero does that makes him a hero. And what the other doesn't do that makes him a coward. Mm.